Now, I guess I want to circle back to you, and and, and more importantly, seeing that you're 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 doing great in your career. You're ten and zero with seven KOs, and I know there's a little coronavirus setback on the path that yeah. you're trying to get. But um, how long do you think you'll see yourself stepping up to the the ten rounds, the twelve rounders? Um, and and sure enough, I know that there has been a lot of passing of the belts amongst the 154 division right now so i'm sure that any fight in there would be pretty exciting but does this extend your time frame and 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 when do you think that you'll be stepping into those uh, those type of fights um this was gonna be my last uh six rounder and i was gonna be up eight and uh so i'm in great great shape you know i think i'm I'm ready for 10, 10 rounders um, by the end of the year. You know, once I get to those 10 rounders, that's when I really start to make myself known in this division, you know, make myself, uh, you know, start to kind of kick the door in a little bit. That's my goal for this year. You know, I was super excited about this performance on the 11th. I really feel like that was going to be a good one. I'm in just, I'm in great shape. You know, I'm in the best shape I've ever been in. You know, I train you know, year round, I never take a break, you know, I, I work, uh, harder than, I know there's a lot of hard working fight, fighters in this game, but I really pride myself on working hard and staying consistent, staying in the gym. I put in a lot of, a lot of work. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. And there is a lot of change in the belts in the, um, division. You know, I think that, uh, I mean, I know I'm not, I, I wish that I was in a situation where I was at the top right now because it's an exciting, at the top of my division. I know I'm still young, but it's an exciting division right now. And I'd love to be mixed up in that. And uh, within the next year or so, I'm going to be. You know, I, I think a lot of people forget, like, you're only 19 years old. And sure enough, you'll yeah. be 20 tomorrow, you know, throughout, yeah. throughout all this. Um, do you want to, I guess... Put yourself in a position of becoming a champion at a certain age you know i guess sometimes some people may look at it and say hey you, you have plenty of time you know you don't necessarily need to to rush through it or is that just a confidence thing that you know that these guys that are in your division it's it's not better than you um i think that uh it kind of goes both ways you know i'd like to i'd like to fight for a title when i'm still 21 um and that doesn't mean right when I'm 21. That can mean when I'm, you know, around this time when I'm 21, towards the end of the 21st year. Um, and if I'm 22, I think that, you know, there's no doubt I won't uh, fight for a title by the time I'm 22, though. Just the way Heyman is moving me, the um, just the way that they're moving me, it's by the time I'm 22, you know, there's no way I won't be fighting for a title unless something crazy happens. But um, the way that they're moving me, as long as I stay focused, stay winning, then I'll fight for a title by the time I'm 22 and, and no later, I guarantee it. And, and, and just wondering, just by any chance, if these champions are still around and they're still the champions at that time, um, just curious, who do you think amongst, you know, would probably be the the best or the toughest fight um, amongst, like, the Patrick Texera, the Jason Rosario, who uh, knocked out um, Julian and, and Jamel Charlo um, with the yeah. Tony Harrison? Is, is there... One that kind of seems a little bit more dominant than the others, just um, you know, no, they're not, they're not. There's so much inconsistency in this in this division. You know, I I don't think that there's somebody who's truly came and claimed it. You know, um, I think that Charlo's gonna beat uh, Rosario. Hey, is that his name? Yep, Jason Rosario. <laughs> Anna. <laughs> he's, gonna go I think he's gonna go in there and beat him. I think the J Rock wasn't himself in that fight. I think J Rock's the best in the division right now. I stand by that. I think that J Rock's the best in the division. Um, I know some things um, about that. That you know, just from being in the game and you know having and knowing those guys and knowing the people who train with him. I know that he had some things where he wasn't himself in that fight. You know, he wasn't. I think. Um, things that were outside of his control and he would never make an excuse about it. But I know that he uh, is, you know, a better fighter than Rosario. He's just a better fighter. He's a better fighter than most people are talking to him that he, that he, oh, uh, he won the title and he couldn't keep it and stuff like that. Well, you know, people who don't fight don't realize that there's things that come that are not in our control sometimes, just like anybody else. You know, you wake up, you don't feel like a million bucks every day. Well, Sometimes we wake up on the day of the fight and something is physically wrong. You know, we, 
we don't get to choose which day that comes. We still got to get in there and we still got to do, you know, go in there and answer the, the bell, you know. So um, I still think that uh, Julian is the best in the division right now. Um, it's inconsistent, and now he's not uh, doing the immediate rematch. I'm not sure why, um, you know, but obviously if he's not. I think, he's, I think it was like, I think he had an eye injury or something. I, I, I heard. Yeah, so, okay, so so then he, he um, made a good decision there. And um, so now that keeps the banana as the champ. So now he's in trouble in our fight. And uh, I was saying, I was like, I, you know, it's the politics of the sport don't work that way. But, you know, as far as just jumping, skipping a lot of um, steps to get there. But I was like, man, that night I was like, man, I wish I could fight the banana. <laughs> <laughs> you were there, man. Right? You were on the car, man. I take it. If they offer me that fight, I take it tomorrow for sure. Well, of course, lastly, because I know you're a big bro, and I always got to ask you about uh, your brother and how's, how's he doing and, and seeing that you're leading the way for him and, and you're a prideful brother. Um, how, how's yeah. Mikel doing, and, and you know, and what should the world expect in the next couple of years when you're on top of the, the world and, and he's up and coming? Oh, man, he's, uh, he's definitely had a good year so far, man. He, racked up quite a few wins this year and um, he's doing really well as an amateur he's obviously I've spoken so highly of him he's the next you know phenom in the game he's just the next phenom and uh, he's coming and uh, I think that he's going to turn pro young he's going to turn pro at probably within the next two years he just turned 16 so by the time he's 17 it's looking like he's going to turn pro and uh, so we're looking forward to you know how all that plays out and uh, where he ends up, you know, I know that uh, he's going to make a lot of noise and, and he's going to show the sport or something that they haven't seen in a long time. You know, he's got he's got some special gifts. Well, look, man, <clears throat> it's a, it's always a pleasure to talk to you, and it's, Thanks, it's always you know um, you know great catching up, and more importantly, make sure that you and your family and, and everyone's all safe throughout this, and that this doesn't uh, extend longer. The fight fans are very. Uh, antsy just as much as you guys. I'm sure you guys are even more, especially you, ready to get in there. Um, and we're excited to see you, you know, get back in there and fight. Is there any um, last messages that you want to tell the fans and where we can find social media if we want to reach out to you? Definitely. Um, yeah, just uh, reach out. Uh, follow me at Joey D. Spencer on Instagram and uh, at JSNation underscore on Twitter.